I hope you never have to read this letter. I cannot imagine you having to go through this yet again. And if you are, I am so truly sorry, Mommy. I hope you know how much I love you and how much you mean to me. I am sorry that I have left you. On the particular day that I am writing this, I have no idea how that may have occurred, but know that I would never choose to leave you. You will forever be my mommy, and I your baby girl. Shalon was my only daughter. She was loving, she was kind, she was generous. She was just always a curious child and loved to learn. She graduated from high school after skipping two grades. She went on to get her bachelor's at Hampton University. From there, she got a master's of science and then was accepted into a PhD program at Purdue University. She graduated with a dual PhD in both sociology and in gerontology, and she was the first student to do that at Purdue University. Both degrees were summa cum laude and all by the age of 25. She went on to public health because she had watched her brother who was battling MS, so she decided she'd go and get a master's of public health from Johns Hopkins, and then went on to become a well-respected epidemiologist at the Center for Disease Control. Unfortunately, her brother passed away, but she still devoted the work that she did at the CDC to her brother. Shalon was a very adventurous spirit and we had traveled to over 20 countries in the last five years. She just loved life. When Shalon found out that she was pregnant, she was just overjoyed. She had wanted to be a mother for so long. She went to every single OB appointment. She did everything her obstetrician required of her. She had had um, fibroids removed probably a year before the pregnancy. And then she found out at the time that she had factor V Leiden. So she also had to take two painful shots every day to keep from clotting while she was carrying her baby. Well, based on her history, her medical team thought it was best that she have a planned C-section. She was prepared, she was ready, and she couldn't wait to meet the tiny human that she'd been sharing space with for 37 weeks. Shalon had tears in her eyes. She was so, so excited to see her daughter, and Shalon just held her. Within four or five days after getting home, she developed a lump on her side. She started having other symptoms as well, headaches, she wasn't voiding as she should have been. Her legs started to swell. She started to gain weight. She had headaches. And every time we'd go in to see a doctor, she was just dismissed with, you just had a baby, give it time. It'll get better. And she says, Mom, I, I don't feel right. There's something wrong. And I was just so concerned, but I, I didn't know what to do. During the last week of her life, Shalon went to the doctor three times for the same symptoms. On that last visit, she presented with blood pressure of 174 over 120. Well, let me give you some blood pressure medicine and you go home and come back in a couple of days if it hasn't gotten better. But don't worry, it should be fine. Just give it a little more time. Well, after we left the doctor's office, we went um, and picked up her prescription and we came home. And so we were sitting there um, talking a little bit more and all of a sudden um, she started to have this gargled sound that came out of her mouth and her, her arm shot up and she passed out. And I called 911. Probably five or six minutes later the ambulance was there. When I got to the hospital, um, the emergency doctor told me that she was in pretty bad shape. I found out a couple of days later that she was brain dead because of the lack of oxygen. My cousin brought in a medical directive that I didn't even know Shalon had. And it said, Mommy, I will fight hard, but if there is no hope, please let me go. And the next night, I happened to notice just one tear, it seemed like that came out of one eye. And I knew then what I had to do. We had her taken off life support. 
at 9.14, she was gone. I lost my vibrant, beautiful, intelligent, best friend and daughter because she wasn't heard. I knew Shalon was a high-risk pregnancy because of her age, but I never for a moment thought that she was at risk of dying because she was a black woman.